guys, we're going to, Joe's been working with these twins gloves for, I don't know, about a week or so, eight to ten days. This is a very, very good glove. Um, and <clears throat> I'm going to show you some ins and outs with this glove. There's good markings on this glove. Good markings. This is the Velcro glove. This is the authenticity. Here, I don't know what I was going to show up in this lighting. Let me see here. And this is a 14 ounce glove. This is a 100% leather glove. The Velcro here is very, very strong. Very strong. Uh, you can see it's going to last the duration of the glove. I don't see this Velcro uh, getting being loose a year or so from now. Uh, the padding on these gloves are just tremendous. They are leather, so you have to break the glove in. Another feature that Joe likes a lot is this uh, thumb. I'm having a terrible time getting this. If you look right here, this thumb uh, grip, grip attachment uh, extends the width of the thumb itself, so it's very, very nice. And here, Rocky in the background raising cane. Uh, these are twin specials. They're coming out with another glove. And just to let you guys know, uh, Adidas has come out with a uh, one of their speed, a new speed series glove. And it's going to revolutionize the market. Everybody's going to be, <coughs> I believe, going over to a glove like that. Uh, we're, I, I'm going to get Joe a pair of those. Uh, later on this year uh, but these gloves right here are uh, they're called special for a reason because they are special I want to show you a bag glove that, that we have that Joe's been using uh, not only is this it's his, his bag glove uh, and we got two sets of these gloves uh, the mark on it is fit. Uh, this is the mark that uh, Hayabusa makes, uh, and they make excellent gloves uh, for Columbia. Columbia chose to have this mark fit in English. And this is a good glove. It's a 12 ounce glove. Uh, this is synthetic, it's not real leather, uh, but Joe has about pounded these loose. These, uh, when I say loose, I'm not meaning loose like uh, loosening up the foam in a pillow uh, per se, but softening, but not spreading it apart. This glove is a good glove for sparring, so he's going to continue sparring in this glove right here. You can see the difference in this cheaper glove. Uh, here's the the uh, grip, the grip that holds it to the fastens the glove, the thumb to the main part of the glove. Uh, these gloves have done real good, but I want to show you something. These are 12 ounce gloves right here. Uh, and when Joe puts these on now, he's way faster than he was before. These are, of course, 14 ounce gloves. 
and I'm not sure I got my back to the wall here but uh, these gloves uh, this is just so awkward for me to try to do this I, going in the wrong direction these gloves right here are very special leather gloves the padding is uh, thicker uh, but I want you to, the big thing I want you to see here is the size difference in these gloves. I'm going to try to pull them back here so you can see. This is the size difference in these gloves right here. So if that gives you any indication, and this glove right here. If Joe runs up on somebody that is really, really quick, and I think they're a little too quick for him, I'm going to have him put these on. Although this is going to pack the punch and make Joe faster, uh, we will go with these, and I'll show you some things. Uh, right here is an excellent wrist protection. Uh, it is actually indicative I believe only to these twins I believe this is just a, a function that they have I, I personally haven't seen any other gloves that uh, have the uh, padding here uh, to protect your wrist over here so to protect the wrist here and these gloves are just big and they are thick. And as I was saying earlier, that Adidas has come out with a game changer. I believe it's gonna be a game changer. Uh, we'll have to see. And then I'm gonna tell you my favorite glove. <laughs> uh, but if you see with these gloves, there's a arcing angle going up. And that is because when you hit someone, uh, let me use this hand. When you hit someone, you want these two knuckles is what you want to to hit. This this is what you're going for. And believe it or not, what you want to do is you need a good glove. Of, for serious sparring and definitely for competition because the name of the game is, uh, the sweet science of it is to hit someone and not get hit yourself. And what you really want to hit someone with, uh, and the design of the body and the hands as weapons is you, this is the sweet spot right here, about right there. This is what you want to pop somebody with. And if you connect this with the chin, pow, it's going to jar the head and the person's going to go down. And it's not, it's not going to hurt them. Uh, <clears throat> it's not going to feel good, but it's, it's not going not gonna to hurt somebody. And you really, you don't, this... But boxing, believe it or not, is not a sport where guys are just wanting to hurt each other. Most of, I would say, 98%, if there is 2% of these guys seriously wanting to hurt each other. They get mad at each other in the ring, things happen, but uh, people aren't trying to hurt each other. This glove here, as an example, will be excellent competition gloves because look at the size of these gloves. So they actually help in your defense. And let me see, get up here, see, see how big this glove is, see what's going on here. It's a, a lot of glove. Uh, this is the wrist support here. It's good and snug. It's 
just excellent, excellent gold. Um, the leather is the best I've ever seen on a glove, including uh, Cleto Reyes uh, Mexican gloves, which are everybody seems to think they got the best leather. I think I think this glove outdoes that. Uh, I'm gonna come over here and. Joe's bag gloves on here. Now, you, you got this glove. So if you see the other glove as opposed to this one, got a lot more padding on the other glove. The other glove is an excellent uh, defense glove. Very good defense glove. Uh, we were lucky to find these gloves here off on and purchase them in a store here in Colombia. And like I said, Hayabusa is uh, making this glove and they are putting the fit logo on it uh, for the Colombian stores here or retail outlets. Uh, so it's just a, a glove that Hayabusa makes as a entry level glove and this, this is a nice glove. This is a real nice glove. Uh, a lot of your pros are going to these twins. Uh, <clears throat> and like I was saying that Adidas is coming out with a what I believe is going to be a game change, changing design. Will we go to it? I don't know. We, we are going to get a pair uh, of those gloves this year. Uh, the, every review I've seen on the new Adidas gloves have been excellent. And uh, the amateurs, the official amateur glove, and the official glove of the uh, uh, Pan Am Games, the uh, Olympic Games, the European uh, amateurs, they're all Adidas gloves. It's all Adidas. And uh, it's Adidas because Adidas is making a good glove. Uh, Joe would be in Everlast gloves if. Uh, Everlast were still made in the United States. I'm not going to give you a company history, but uh, give you a little history. Uh, Everlast was sponsored everybody from uh, Sonny Liston to Muhammad Ali to Larry Holmes and Mike Tyson and <clears throat> I forget uh, I believe that uh, they sponsored uh, the Klitschko brothers when they first won all the heavyweight titles, but that was very brief. If in fact they were sponsored by Everlast when they went on their brotherly campaign and had all the championships for Pert near one of them over a decade, and uh, but what's happened is they sent the manufacturing overseas, and the quality of the Everlast stuff went downhill real fast. And since uh, I'll say probably since about between 2000 and 2004, maybe their quality of their gloves has went down tremendous. And I just, a guy, uh, a friend of mine just did a review. He found an eight ounce lace up pair of the uh, uh, Everlast that was uh, the, marked the year 1999. And uh, 
he's using those eight ounces uh, to, he normally uses a 16 ounce glove. He says he's gonna use, uh, well, he's gonna make a decision. Let me rephrase that. If he, if he decides to use the gloves, he's going to make that glove his training glove, and he's going to go with the eight ounces because it, he said it, the old glove feels that good to him. And this is actually a brand new pair of Everlast uh, Pro Max gloves from 1999, and I don't even know if they were calling them Pro Max then, but gloves are very important and. You want you want something that's angled. Uh, like if you see this glove here, you see that there's an angle, and you want you want that angle uh, because the name of the game here is, and this is not stressed. And you know, I hear Teddy Atlas talking about this. I hear Freddie Roach talking about this. I hear several other the. the the older trainers talking about this, and uh, but th these newer guys know this guy that started training uh, Wilder, uh, for example, where he was going to come back and thought he was going to beat Fury with this young guy training him, and oh, he just got demolished. These trainers today are not, they just don't have it going on. Sorry, there will be people that are going to come out. And they're going to replace all the old guys. They will be better. Uh, but right now, we just, these younger trainers, they just, they lack experience. And you've, you've got to watch the sport. Uh, it, if you get somebody to train you, uh, it's good. You can go in a, in, in a gym. And, and as a matter of fact, there, there's a new one in my hometown. And uh, there's good people in that gym, and uh, but they don't have the experience. They're they're not going to be producing uh, amateur mid-range champions, and they're not going to be producing any professionals at all. But they're great people, and boxing's a great sport. Uh, and they they may produce, but right now they're they're not. Uh, Boxing is a sport that uh, you need somebody training you that has watched boxing longer than you are old. That's a, that's a good rule of thumb right there. If the man is training you has been watching box or old boxing older than you are, and that's a, a pretty good pretty good sign and. Uh, another thing, if you want to get into boxing, you've got to, you, you can't be a prima donna. You just can't do it. Uh, now, I, I had somebody tell me the other day, they said, well, you, you pick on uh, the bronze bomber all the time. Well, I, I do because he's a big baby. And I don't mean him no harm, but the man won't even skip rope. And uh, you're... I mean, you got to do all the things that you got to do if you want to continue to win. And he didn't want to do everything he had to do. And the, everybody else is doing everything that they have to do and then some. And uh, I'm going to tell you something else, too. You go into a boxing gym and you don't see a speed bag, ask. Really seriously, ask. Ask them if they'll consider getting you one put in and tell them can you learn to do it in your on your own time and then teach me how to do it uh, it's not as difficult as it looks uh, you just have to get a get everything mounted correctly and right and it'll work for you and uh, speed bag is you, you need it a lot of these guys are saying now, no, you don't need it, you don't need it. Uh, you need a double-ended uh, rope bag as well. It's called, a, you know, a lot of people call it a crazy bag, a crazy Mexican bag, and they're the ones that are suspended from the, uh, 
from the ceiling down to the floor and you just pop this thing in it things just moving and going everywhere and that's very good very good tool we don't we don't have one right now uh, I put all of our eggs and cobra bag basket uh, but that's fixing to change we're, we're going to get every piece of equipment that we that we can and we're going to use it and everybody that comes in that wants to train is going to use all of the equipment it's, it's going to be mandatory uh, so we're, we're not going to have a place where uh, you want to come in and you jump rope you come in and you pay to jump rope uh, well I'm not going to say nobody can't do that but if you want to come in and jump rope, just come in and grab a rope and jump. Start jumping rope. I'm mean, just be not too good morally intact if I charged somebody to stand in the place and jump rope. I'm mean, just not about that. This is about boxing. But if you're gonna compete, you're 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 gonna invest in the equipment. And you're going to be disciplined. And that means when somebody's hollering at you, your mouth stays shut. That means when the gray-headed guy standing over there makes you feel bad, suck it up. That means when they you told, give me two more push-ups, and you just fell in your face. And they said, no, give me two more. You need to be trying to do that. That's what boxing is about. And we're getting away from that. It's turning strictly into a money thing. And we've got this YouTube stuff going on with boxing. And God bless those guys, and it's great. And I'll put it to you right now. I'm a slow guy. I'm very slow, but... I can still hit. If the guy wanted to see if I could last 30 seconds with him, or, or better yet, see if they could hold on and me not knock them out in 30 seconds, and they wanted to offer me $100,000, I'm going to be training to knock their ass out. And that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, it would happen with these two Paul boys, even though they're a lot bigger than me. Uh, yeah, I would do that in a second. I would go in and I'd risk getting myself, well, I wouldn't let nobody knock me out. I, I wouldn't put that up as the thing because I'm too old for that. But if one of them guys wanted to say, hey, we're going to try to go toe to toe with you uh, and try to avoid you and see if you can, I can make it 30 seconds because. I see these guys throwing body punches and, you know, it's like patty cakes today. It's like patty cakes. First time I put a pair of boxing gloves on, you know, I had a beast of a monster neighbor, a beast. His daddy was a Golden Gloves champion in North Carolina. He was three years older than me, I believe. He's a big guy. Shannon was a beast. And we put the gloves on and I said, don't hit me hard in the head. And he said, I'm not, I'm not even going to hit you hard. And he punched me in my stomach. And I got the air knocked out of me. And if you, if you haven't had the air knocked out of you, it's a weird feeling. I've had it happen several times to me since then but it, you will think you're dying but you're not and he calmly knelt down beside me held my head up and and he told me he said you okay little man you okay just be calm be calm D quit grasp gasping for air and boom it came back to me a anyway that was the first time i ever put a pair of gloves on and and then and I didn't box back then. I, I didn't do it. I was too scared. But I got a little older and 
you know, you get older and things click in you and you like doing it and I liked watching it and I got into it. And while I were here and my son's doing really good at this and uh, you know, I'm, I'm blessed, he's doing real good at it. And I don't have a design, you know, the design for him is uh, our ultimate goal is to get into the U.S. Naval Academy for him uh, and be an officer. That's our an officer and a gentleman. That's the goal, the main goal we got. But we're we're boxing now and we're disciplined and and while we're taking advantage of a sport, we're going to try to win the gold medal. That's what you're supposed to do. You ain't you. Everybody in this world is complacent and, and down into the second and third and fourth and fifth and second and third and fourth and fifth that's good that's a good thing but i'm going to start putting some videos out for you younger dads as well uh, and and look I'm not, I'm not going to be jumping on any young daddies and, and giving them a bunch of bunk because i'm going to tell you right now uh, ten, fifteen years ago, I wasn't a good dad to my girl, my daughter. I didn't know how to do discipline, and I do this, and I do that, blah 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 blah. And I was forty six, I believe, when I had my son. Forty five when I had my son. 46 and uh, so I was older and wiser and it's, it's good to be older and wiser to be a parent and if you have kids young it's good to go to your crazy mama or your crazy daddy that that uh, might not you might not think was all that because I'll tell you they'll help you and the thing about a mom and a dad they learn off the mistakes that they make and they make mistakes all the time my job just made one the other night and a bad one and uh, you know I've got to take care of that it was, which concerns to my daughter but uh I still hadn't took care of that, and I got to take care of that this week. And you got to eat crow when you got to eat crow. I mean, you just got to do what you got to do. You got to soak it up. Being a, a daddy, being a husband, being a provider is that, right? Okay, okay I'm... Uh, The only fathers I ever knew growing up that wasn't working were sick. And part of being a father is providing for your child or your children and your wife. And if you can't do that, um, maybe you shouldn't get married and start to having kids, you know. Maybe you just shouldn't do that. And anyway, I'm going to start putting out some more videos. We've got the YouTube thing going. It's going pretty good for my son. Uh, we've just started it. We're going to monetize some things. And uh, we got some competitions that are going to be coming up. And I'm going to get them videoed, even if I have to sneak video. You know, but it's going to happen. I'm, if I have to go buy a body camera and put a tie down over it and then pull the tie back, like whatever I got to do, I'm going to do. And, uh, but back to the twin gloves that done got off on this thing. Uh, and a doctor told me, he said, hey, put, the, put videos out, do it, just start talking about stuff because it, it's helping you with your, uh, with your brain activity and all of that. And I put one out yesterday, and I hope you people could go and look at that because 
uh, it may save your life. And I'm not being nice in that video at all. And I'm not going to take back one thing I said in that video. Uh, but if you start getting something that's kind of like the flu, it could save your life. So get to it and get to it before you get sick. Not after. After can is possibly going to be way too late for you. So, and we've done all been sick here. And you need the proper medicine and you need to know what not to allow these people to do to you. So, and you want to try to stay healthy. And what I would suggest is if you're doing some boxing, uh, check into these twin leather gloves, these twin specials. They are wonderful. My son loves them. Uh, I don't know what we're getting. I was going to go ahead and get another uh, sparring pair, smaller pair, and now I'm waiting. I'm thinking because of these Adidas's that have come out, and they're supposed to be game changers. So I want to wait and see what happens. And uh, I'm going to need a pair of the Adidas here in Latin America anyway. If you're in North America, they're going to hand you your gloves. Here they're not going to do that. You're going to have to provide your own, your own, uh, your own gloves. And when you start getting on the Olympic side of it, you're going to have to purchase uh, what those committee's requirements are because they're not going to hand nothing out here. Uh, not to my knowledge. But, uh, and, you know, who would Joe compete for? It would compete for the USA, obviously. We are not going to uh, uh, go to any trials here uh, for Joe to represent Colombia. I mean, he doesn't want to do that. And uh, so once we get up to that point, if we were do some more state qualifying here, and uh, then we'll go up north and just keep cleaning clocks and if he qualifies he qualifies and uh, it'll be something he can carry with him the rest of his life and say hey I did this and that's what you want to instill in your kids give them opportunities to do things that they can carry those things with them the rest of their lives that when they run up on insurmountable odds uh, it won't be so serious to them they will have some confidence instilled there uh, and a lot of it so you got to spend the time with your kids anyway I'm going to hop off here it's been another long-winded video everybody have a good night